I am the God King, your King. Glory Satan! And her name was Maleficent. Oh, come on, that's funny. I wish Inspector Gadget was here, but I am glad you are here to help. Inspector Janet's the rescue. We need to find out who killed Larry White. We have one suspect, but I want to be certain of the perpetrator. Who is the suspect? We have an alien by the name of DJ Poison, a.k.a. KT, a.k.a. Kevin, a.k.a. Tyson. He keeps changing profiles so we can't pin the right name down. Where does this alien live? He was born and raised in Chicago close to 79th Street but ran to Houston, Texas so that he wouldn't be recognized by the victim's family. Did his crime follow him? Yes, he told a friend that he killed a five-year-old child. After he and friend had a fallout, private investigations were started and then the police report came out. Who performed the research? It was done by a few people, mainly his oppositions. Can't nail down the exact source at this moment. What did the report say? The report stated Kevin Terrell date of birth July 1971. He will be 50 years. Where can I find Kevin Terrell? He has a part-time gig in a broke-down Texas bar. That's all I know. I will find him. Go, go, gadget computer. Yes, Inspector Janet. How may I be of service? Look for DJ Tyson in Houston. Texas. Have a location. We'll print map on your memory board. Thank you, computer. My computer says he is homeless and staying with friends nearby. He has a stolen puppy named Champ in his possession. I will find him. We are on our way to his destination. I heard that he also has a part-time job cross-dressing and stripping. Let's hurry and get this guy off the street. What is the child's name? Larry White. How about the age at the time of death? He was only five years old. Is the perp remorseful? No, that is why I am so vigilant in exposing him. He is not remorseful at all. Where did the homicide occur? In the back of a schoolyard in Chicago close to where he lived at the time. Did he know his victim? Yes, and he knew the family. What was cause of that? Hit and run. A drug-addicted angry criminal hit him two times before fleeing the scene of the accident. Do you have any video of this perpetrator? Yes, watch this one. Hey, 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 watch the hands, Garson. She's a lady. She's a lady. <laughs> You under arrest, sugar. Bowsers, what a grand finale! Go, go, gadget hooker clean! I'll get you next time, gadget! <laughs> Thank you.
We are sorry to interrupt your regular scheduled program. We would like to take this time to thank the many supporters of Classy JTV. The following subs have been an integral part of our success. Thank you to Apple Candy, Sunny B, Diva the Divine Light, The Truth, Queen Christie, Molly Harris and many more. You have pushed this channel to be more creative and bring content in which the community will love. We love and appreciate your loyalty. We will continue to work hard to bring the best content than we can. Thank you again. Our disclaimer is that these cartoons are for entertainment purposes only and the facts may or may not be factual. Enjoy, be sure to like, share, and subscribe now. Don't forget to comment. Now back to the Inspector Gadget Investigation Series. I did it to Big Daddy Kane one time. I swear to God, I swear and to God. If you don't know who Big Daddy Kane is, you can go fuck yourself, okay? <laughs> I was standing on Sunset Boulevard. A limousine pulled up. Like, for Sunset? Really? All right. <laughs> a limo pulled up, like, I don't know, 30 feet from me. I was just like, all right, see the door open. Who's getting out of this limo? Expecting, like, a bachelor party or some shit. Fucking Big Daddy Kane. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. And something just took over, you know? The spirit grabbed me. And I was like, Sup, Kang! <laughs> and his head whipped around. He was like, you? And I was like, oh, that wasn't me. <laughs> Somebody over there did that shit. That wasn't me. <laughs> if you ever see Big Daddy Kane, please do the same shit to him. <laughs> every week, it's another city for me. I get asked the same questions every week by people. I was, are people the same everywhere? <laughs> no. Some places suck, and they have shittier people. <laughs> I just gave you a sociology degree. How about that? You like that? <laughs> Here's one universal truth about people, though. This one is true, and that is that everybody just wants to connect. It doesn't matter where you go or what language you speak. People just want to connect. And you know when you have chemistry with somebody. You know if you're like, I want to hang out with this person, or I want to date this person, or I want to harness this person to the bottom of my big rig and drive them around for a while <laughs> and bury them 18 miles west of Lake Worth, and when I drive by, I'll get a boner. We all have these thoughts, right? <laughs> Sometimes there's nothing there, and people try to force a connection. I think that's just rude. I'm checking in a hotel a few weeks ago. The guy comes from behind the counter. And he goes, where are you from? I said, uh, Los Angeles. And he goes, yeah, I got family in Denver. And I was like, <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> and he goes, yeah, they got a furniture store. And I was like, ah, I like to sit on furniture. <laughs> We're two for two. <laughs> I have shoes on. Do you have shoes on? <laughs> Do you like to walk around? Let's fucking party. There's nothing there. Sometimes there's nothing there, and that's okay. You're not supposed to connect with everybody on the planet. That would be absurd. You should embrace that. I've been doing this, you should do this too. Next time you're at a bar, or you're just out walking around, and somebody goes, hey man, you just go, nope. <laughs> Okay, this is the spot where computer asked us to come. Let's walk around and look for poison. He won't be hard to find. He will be the most unattractive broke man here. He will be bugging women for drinks. DJ Poison is so broke that he broke into the bar last night and stole the limbo chair. How low can you go? When DJ was young, he wanted to grow up to have no money problems. Apparently he never grew up. He grew down and now that he is an adult, he has no money and issues. There he is right over there. I will interrogate him now. Okay, see you in a few, Inspector Janet. Are you DJ Poison? Yes. I am Inspector Janet and would like to have a word with you concerning Larry White. Sure, let's go over here where it's quiet. And by the way, how did you find me? I have my resources. What happened the day Larry White was struck? 
Well, I was visiting friends at the school and didn't see anyone outside so I reversed and felt a bump. Thought it was a speed bump so I hit the gas and pull forward and felt the bump again. I heard crying but I was startled. I got out the vehicle saw the child suffering and tried to lift him inside my car but couldn't. Larry's brother was crying. I've been pulled off and went into hiding. What was the date of this incident? I don't remember. Has anything like this ever happened before? Yes I hit another woman before but don't remember the outcome. It happened when I was young. How did that incident happen? I don't remember. How many witnesses was at the scene of Larry White's hit and run? Not sure. Did you report this crash to authorities? No. Why not? I was scared to go to jail. Did you care about the child? Did you care if he would live? That didn't cross my mind. Why weren't you paying attention that day? My woman and I had an argument and my gang was kicking me out literally. They were beating me up for something I had done wrong. What gang was this? The Gangster Disciples. Do you know anyone who can shed further light on this case? No. Is there anything else you want to tell me that I haven't asked you? This will go in my report. Why are you bringing this up now? I pled guilty to a lesser charge and spent two years in jail. I did my time. That's when we thought this was an accident, but apparently we are reviewing the case and may bring new charges for homicide. I didn't mean to. Larry White haunts my sleep. Time to set it straight, you know what I'm saying? And there ain't no half stepping. Word, I'm ready. Rap a stepping to me. They wanna get some, but I'm the cane, so yo, you know the outcome. I'm not the victory. They can't get with me. So pick a BC date, cause you're a history. I'm the authentic poet to get lyrical. For you to beat me, it's gonna take a miracle. And stepping to me, yo, that's the wrong move. So what you on, Hobbs? Dope a dog, dope a dog. Competition, I just devour. Like a pit bull against a chihuahua Cause when it comes to being dope, hot damn, I got it good Now let me tell you who I am The b i c d a d d y k a n e Dramatic, Asiatic, not like many I'm different, so don't compare me to another Cause they can't hang, word to the mother At least not get the principle in this pedigree So when I roll on your rappers, you better be ready To die because you're petty You're just a butter knife, I'm a machete This made by Gensu, wait until when you Try the front so I can chop into your body Just because you try to be basing Friday the 13th, I'ma play Jason No type of joke, that game, puzzle or riddle The name is Big Daddy, yes, big, not little, so define it Here's your walking papers, sign it, and take a walk As the canes start to talk, cuz Have a break from a take of me acting 
ill, brain cells are lit, ideas start to hit, next the formation of words that fit, at the table I sit, making it legit, and when my pen hits the paper, aw shit, I got to stand strong over MCs and devour, with the power of Hercules or Samson, but I go further to left, cause you can scout my cameo and I still have strength, and no, that's not a myth, and if you try to rip or get whipped, the man with the given gift of gab, your vocab, I only ignore, be sleeping on your rhymes till I start to snore. You can't awake me, or even make me fear your son, cause you can't do me none. So, think about it if you're trying to go. When you wanna step to me, I think you should know that. A mere musketeer that would dare to compare Put him in the rear back there where he can't see clear Get a beer, idea, or near steer Yeah, sworn to be wanna be competition Trying to step to me, must be on a mission Up on the stage is where I'ma get you at You think I'm losing? Picture that This is the part of the investigation that requires our studio audience to assist. Please click the link and tell us your feelings about this case. Give your opinions and together we will come to a resolution. Thank you for your participation and see you in the chat.